We're back in the Heartbreaker Lounge with my friend John, my new friend John, and my name is Rich. And uh, we're playing loud guitars again today, and he's got one I never saw. Yeah, this is beautiful. It is a Alex Degrassi model. What kind of spruce is that on top of the... Uh, uh, this is Sitka spruce on the top of this one with absolutely gorgeous quilted maple on the back and sides. It rich, this guitar is fantastic. I'm not partial to maple guitars. This one sounds great. It rings a lot. It's very loud. Loud. Loud and loud. Yeah, loud and loud. This is an F50C that I'm holding. It's Lutz Spruce over Bog Oak. 5,000 year old oak. I've played this guitar before. It rings like crazy. Beautiful details everywhere around the guitar, as all the Loudons are. It's a five piece neck. It's got some beautiful binding around it. Looks to be koa around the sound hole, abalone around the koa. Trim all around the guitar. Beautifully, perfectly done. They make beautiful guitars. They're beautiful sounding. They're very resonant. They ring like crazy. They're loaded with harmonics and overtones. They have lots of depth, uh, depth to them. No, oh, no, okay. no I'm, gonna say, I'm, I'm just sitting here in awe watching you play there, actually. These are great guitars. I don't know, there's not much you can say about them except when you pick them up. It's even just holding on to a chord and letting it die away. And like I said, that maple, yeah. I don't know why it rings that much. Well, and I, I really am a fan of maple guitars. Um, as a matter of fact, one that I'm letting go of now is a, is a maple, an incredible instrument. But the people who can do maple well they build exceptional guitars, and Loudon really seems to, they've, they've got maple, the maple sound nailed, you know. Not a lot of overtones, but it's bright, it's clear, it's very articulate, and the note separation is fantastic. Okay, I've just dropped this uh, Alex Degrassi signature model Loudon down to drop D. Going to give a little example of what this guitar is capable of. This, this thing's beautiful. Well, you see how uh, that Alex Degrassi guitar, when John dropped the tuning on it, uh, it added so much uh, flavor to it. The chords that he was playing uh, were very complex. I think I couldn't even follow uh, exactly where he was going on that, but I loved it. It had a nice, delicate sound. So I figured I'd drop the tuning on this guitar for, on the E string on this uh, this F50C down to D as well. And uh, I always think that dropping and tuning gives the guitar a little bit more authority. Because uh, if you tune it properly, 
new strings. I want to do a little side by side on the two guitars playing similar stuff, similar strums and chords. I'm going to have John kick it off here in something in D. We're both in drop D. Well, thanks for uh, watching Heartbreaker Lounge today. Uh, John on that beautiful Alex Degrassi guitar, and I'm on this, uh, this uh, F50C. We'll also have to thank Alex Degrassi for being Alex Degrassi, <laughs> and also for that oak tree falling into the bog 5,000 years ago. This is very old wood. By the way, this also has a bevel. It's nice and comfy. I love these guitars. Thanks for tuning in. Check out the link, leave comments, don't say anything bad about me. Or me.